has for us this day, this morning. Uh, yes. Let us turn our Bibles in the book of Titus. Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2, and verse 11 and 12. Titus chapter 2, verse 11 and 12. The Bible says, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. Verse 12. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and the worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. Bona Sefiwe. In the lives we, we are living as Christians, I will say, we always say it is by the grace of God. Sinikweli. And true, it is by the grace of God. Everything that happens to our lives, it is by the grace of God. From the day you wake up, you spend all the day, you go home, in the evening, on Alala, it is by the grace of God. And nothing in this life should be taken for granted for what God has done for us. And as believers, it is important we realize that being spiritual beings, who are seeking to suffer in Ivizuri to Jue, whatever we are doing on earth right now, it is just by His grace. Nikwane mayake. Least anyone should boast. Hatuna kitu ya kujigamba. Upate umefaulu sana maishani. It is by the grace of God. Upate ulikuwa mgonjo ukapona ni kwa neema ya mungu. Wacha ni kuambia hata upate ulikunyo maje ukameza. It is by the grace of God. And everything we do in this life, it is just by the grace of God. And as Christians, it is important we understand that. See, 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 see what to do. You're not just human beings here to fill the earth. We have a purpose and the reason God has placed us on earth. And especially in Mwiki. Because by his grace he has placed us for a noble purpose. I will keep repeating this and this as many times as possible. That a prophecy came from this altar to say that we will disciple this community. It is by the grace of God to get that opportunity that we can be a light to this community. We can represent him. It is by the grace of, of God. And one of the things that is we need to know is that we should live what I've called grace-filled life. Say grace-filled life. Grace-filled life. Yani maisha ambayo imejaa nini? Neema ya Mungu. Na wakati utajua kuwa maisha yako imejaa neema ya Mungu, unatembea kwa neema ya Mungu, let me tell you there is nothing in this world you cannot conquer. Hakuna kitu duniani uwezi kabiliana naye. You remember last Sunday I was telling you that now mimi ninaambia Mungu sana restoration mimi na mimi nishafanyika. Because when you pray, God answers. Mimi sasa naenda party ya nini? Demonstration. Kwa sababu sasa nataka matendo ya mungu. And right now in living in this world and everything we are doing, demonstration ya mungu by his grace, lazima yonekane kwa maisha yako. Sema amen. amen. The Bible says that for the grace of God has appeared. For the grace of God has appeared. For the grace of God has appeared to all men. 
for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. John 1, 14. John 1, 14. John 1, 14, the Bible says, The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of what? Who came full of grace? Who came full of grace? The word became flesh. Who is that? Eh? Who is the word who became flesh? The word became flesh. And he came from the Father full of what? And that is why Titus is saying, and the grace for the grace of God has appeared to all men. The grace that does what? Brings salvation has appeared to all men. Bona sefiwe. Nehema ya mungu imetutokea sisi wote. Now, what is grace? We say it is unmerited favor of God towards man. Leo ni miandika mbaka Greek. Inaito charis. C-H-A-R-I-S. Let me tell you, the, the appearing of the grace of God I say number one, it deals with our status. The appearing of the grace of God in our lives. What it does, number one, it deals with our status. When we look at uh, uh, Titus 2.11, the Bible says, for the grace of God that brings what? Salvation. Let me tell you, the coming of Christ and him being crucified, was to change our status. Ni kubadilisha status yetu. Neema ya Mungu ilipokuja katika maisha yetu, it changed our status. Another name for status is our standing, our position, our place, our condition. The Bible says for it is by grace Ephesians 2:8-9 you have been saved through faith. It is by grace by grace, you have been saved through grace. Kwa hivyo, the name ya mungu, kitu ya kwanza, inakutokea, inabadilisha your status. Na hiyo inakuja kwa sababu, analeta wokovu kwa maisha yako. Kumanisha wakati unapokea ne, wokovu, unapokea neema ya mungu katika maisha yako. Inabadilisha your status. Wale tulijulikana kuwa wenye dhambi. Tunafanyika haki kwa sababu ya mungu. It changes our status. It deals. Usiandike changes. It deals. Kwa sababu, inatokea, inakabiliana na iyo hali. Ambaye, the sinful, the adamic nature. Ambaye tulijulikana kuwa sisi ni wenye dhambi. Na tukakuwa tukombali na nani? Na mungu. Wakati litufanya mbali na mungu, yeye kuja na kutokea because we know he is the one who has come from the fathers. Tumesoma hivo, John 1.14. And he has come full of grace. And his coming was to give us salvation. Buwana ya limtuma, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son who was full of grace. And now his appearing brings what? Salvation. It changes our status. So, wewe ukiwa hapo, na unasema wewe ni muamini umeokoka. Jua ni kwa neema ya mungu ambaye imejaa maisha yako. Na ambaye imekutokea. Sema amen. amen. So, jambo la kwanza inafanyika ni kuwa mungu anabadilisha hali yako. It changes, it deals with your status. Wewe ambaye ulikuwa na ile tunaita sinful nature. God changes you. He makes you a hair. Wewe ambayo ulikuwa si mtu unafanyika mtu. Wewe ambayo ulikuwa haujulikani unajulikana. Wewe ambayo ulikuwa wa mataifa sasa unakuwa mwana wa Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. And you know that I think that is why Jesus is proud to say I in them and them in mimi ndani yao nao ndani ya Kwa sababu ya kumkubali na kutembea kwa naema iyo. Bwana asifiwe. So the appearing of the grace of God, first of all, it deals with our status.
1 Timothy 2, verse 3 to 4, it says, This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Romans verse 10, chapter 10, verse 13 says, Whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 3, 24, it says, And you are justified freely by his grace. You are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that comes by Jesus Christ. And you are justified. Umefanyika haki. Umefanyika haki. Yani kumanisha, kesi ilipo weko mbele ya mungu, na yesu anasimama, anasema, you are justified. Dhambi zako zimesamehewa. By the grace, through the, freely by his grace, through the redemption that comes through Jesus Christ. So, wewe kukua hapo na kujita mkristo, unasema ni kwa neema ya mungu. I've been saved. I've been justified. I didn't have this right, but now I have this right because of his unmerited favor. I can now be called a son of God. What a great favor. Bwana asifiwe. Nani kitu ya, it's very humbling to know that you are, didn't have a right. But now somebody to come, de- deciding to come and give you a right. Mungu anasema wacha ni kupe haki sasa. Eh? He is a judge. Anasimama anasema, yani ya ni kutuangane hivi zi, akaturumia kaona hawa. Wacha ni tuwe mwana wangu. You whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be? Sasa mwenye atamkubali, akona haki. Na ndiyo tunapewa haki kwa hiyo neema ya mungu. Sema amen. amen. Jambo la pili, we are talking about grace-filled life. And from the same scripture, we realize that uh, in verse in verse 12, verse 12a, the Bible says, it teaches us. What is teaching us? The same grace. Neema ile ile, which appeared to all men. It teaches us now to say what? To say what? To ungodliness and worldly Passion to comma, kuna comma, to achieve a sendio. This we say it deals with our external influence. The appearing of the grace of God did not only deal with your status, but it has also dealt with your external influence. Because he neema ya mungu ndo inakufanya useme nini hapana to all ungodliness and worldly passions. So it deals with our external force. It makes you have the power to say what? No. So hiyo ni kumanisha, when you are full of the grace of God, when you are filled with the grace of God, when you are a Christian filled with the grace, the unmerited favor of God, for you to say no, ni, ni, it is in the, in the fingertips. Bona sifiwe. Because when you are full of the grace of God and you know, see, I'm a change status yako. I'm a kufanya mwana, unajua haukuwa na haki, umefanyika haki kwa sababu ya neema yake. So sasa, you the appearing of the grace. It pushes you to the next level that you can say no to any external influence that comes towards you. The ungodliness, the worldly passion. That is why as Christians, it is very important to be careful because we wewe ukitembea ni Mungu anatembea ni Kristo anatembea so wewe kusema hapana wewe kusema sitaki wewe kusema sitafanya haifai kuwa kitu you are struggling with ama unakaa ku debate because if you are full of the grace of god you can say no to any ungodly eh na ndio inakuwa ngumu sana Wakati mtu anakuja anasema nilijaribiwa tu nili, nilijikuta tu hao ulijikuta aje unless ikuwe wewe uko finje finje uko hapa na ha na unajua huyo mtu Mungu anachukia sana ule ako Mungu anasema aje hiyo lukewarm there is that scripture i can't remember eh 
Mwenye yako lukuom, Mungu anasema atamfanya nini huyo mtu? Atamutapika. Ta. May you be a believer who is not finje finje, 50-50. Be full of the grace of God because I tell you in this world you can conquer because you have God inside of you. He helps you this grace helps you to deal with the worldly pleasures. Tunasema mambo ya corruption, tunasema mambo ya nini? Lakini I tell you there is a time I said here tunaongea hizo mambo zote lakini we say 80% of Kenya ni Christians. In quotes who are the true Christians? Who are the representative of that grace? Can you be a representative of that grace? Because if it can deal, it has already dealt with your status and you say, I'm a son of God. It can help you to deal with the worldly. Let us see when you deal with the situation. A young man, deal, go dealing with those situations. Anakusaidia. Hapana kuzaguza wadada ovyo ovyo. Because when you have the grace of God, mikono yako unajua ni ya mungu, mikono takatifu na inulia mungu. Wewe unaenda tu kuguzaguza, ah, you are defiling yourself. And the grace of God in a talker, katika maisha yako. And it is that grace that can help you. Kwa hivyo tuwachange kusema, tia nilijaribiwa, hapa ana, jaza kwanza u, 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 neema ya mungu katika maisha yako. Kwa sababu wakati umeja neema ya mungu, inakusaidia. Kusema nini? No. Skiza, haijasema wewe utasema, inaku. Ebu weka hiyo script ya tena. Ina kusaidia kufanya nini? Ina, si kusaidia by the way. Ah, ah, si kusaidia. Inafanya nini? Kumanisha kama wewe si wa hiyo shule. Kwa sababu sasa tumeona hii ni shule. Of saying no. It is now the grace that teaches you to say no. Hakikisha uko hii shule. Full of the grace of God. So say no to you. It means you are a student of the grace of God. 